Yo, what is up, Doom fans? My name is Phasm, and today what you guys are watching is a very nice Call of Duty Black Ops 2 200 plus on the map turbine. This is a 210 to 2, and I was rocking the Scar H with a very nice, brand new, and quite attractive UK Punk camo. I have fast mags and stock, which is definitely the way to go if you are going to be going for a nice score line with the Scar H. And you know, the Scar is a nice weapon, I do like it, but um. It's kind of like the aiming system with it is kind of weird for me. It might just be Black Ops 2 hit detection, but um, you'll notice that my aim is shooting the bag quite a bit. It could be because this was my first game on, the first game in this you know support session. But uh, you'll notice that the reason I die is because my aim totally shits the bed, and yeah, that's that. But anyways, you guys might be wondering who I am, some of you new guys, and um, the old guys might remember, remember me, hopefully. But my name is Phasm, I posted a while back. Like the very start of Doom, I've been in Doom since the very beginning, but I took a long break and I'm not very good at Ghost, to be honest. Ghost is just a bad game and plus I'm not very good at it. I mean, I can get single Kims, but nothing compared to what our Ghost guys can get, you know, for the gameplay standards. So, I am a pub stomper that shines in Black Ops 2. And with these new camos, you know, there's new strive to get gameplays on Black Ops 2 and the fact that Black Ops 2 is actually working. So, you know, we hopped on and I was able to get this 210 to 2 on the map Turbine like I mentioned earlier. And Turbine is one of those maps that's like, it's like a make it or break it map, you know. Like, you have to start on your streak from the very beginning, keep your momentum up strong to be able to get one of these gameplays. And I started off flawless. I believe I started off like, I don't even know exactly, like. 16-0 or something like a 45 gun streak have my streaks and the way to play turbine is just to abuse these cap kills on the a flag and pretty much anytime you are you know running spawns like i am in this gameplay you really want to abuse the cap kills because that's what helps you get the streaks faster and when you get the streaks you know the, the streaks are what gets you the high score line so that's just a little tip from phasm anyways let us know if you would like to see more black ops 2 it's a very great game in my opinion it's the game where i uh, i you know shine as a pub stomper and um, I love going for gameplays and with the new camos it provides opportunity for us to spice up some variety. We are trying the DLC maps as well but the DLC maps is kind of aid searching for them because people play them but it's only a select few and they are all pretty skilled players and it's just hard to find a match when you are searching for DLC. But anyways, just make sure to leave some comments below if Black Ops 2 is something that you enjoy viewing, you know, 200 pluses, triple nuclears, leave some challenges you want us to go for because I find it really fun to go for challenges that you guys leave and then seeing your guys' responses when we do complete those challenges and if it, just, it provides gameplays for us, you know, it provides uploads and it allows us to interact with, with you guys and personally as a YouTuber, I love interacting with subscribers. And uh, we will be having a Doom 100k face reveal coming out very soon. I'm actually going to be in charge of that. So I'm working with all the guys to get their clips with me and everything like that. So look forward to that. 100k is a huge number and I personally cannot wait. And I know everyone else, all the other guys cannot wait to hit 100,000 subscribers. That is a massive milestone. And there are not many you know, clans or even channels alone that have 100,000 subscribers. And especially pub stopping clans, you know. I know that the original Amp Clan did hit 100k. But I, I, I don't think there's any other clan that's even that close to 100k besides us. Look at this guy. This guy had no thumbs. And thank God he had no thumbs. But it, just, it shows you how you know terrible the knifing system is in Black Ops 2. But anyways, my dog was able to pick him off and continue me on my streak. And, um, you know, what do you guys think of the new camos? We have gameplays with the, the after something or other, the blue one, you know, and UK Punk. Now we just need to get the gameplays with Comic and Paladin, or however you pronounce that. And, you know, me, Cold, and OBJ, you know, we're all on the grind for that. We have been playing in parties with Doom members running support, other Doom guys. And it's actually a brilliant idea. I don't know why we haven't done it from the start. But when you have the players who run the spawns running support and they know how it works, it, it just it makes it, you know, an awesome time because everyone knows what they're doing and... The people who run the spawns are the masters of it, and if they're running support, then they know exactly where to be, they know exactly where to put guardians and everything to control the spawns, and they're obviously good players, so you know they can get the V-stat and everything, and it just it works out really well. If we would have done this from the beginning of the game, we would have broken all these records a lot earlier, but you know, nonetheless, we still have chances now. Of course, I was rocking the Escort Drone K9 and Swarm setup, which is kind of unusual for Turbine because K9s aren't meant to run across rocks and everything and run up hills. But uh, I do like using the K9s. I like using the the uncontrolled streaks more than the user controlled streaks because when you sit back and watch a gameplay that has VTOL and Lodestar and um, 
Yeah, the Vital and Low Star, you're not really watching the gun skill of the player or even the player skill in himself, you know. You're just watching his kill streaks go to work, and in reality, you can just camp back and get a couple of kills to get your Escort Drone and then, or VSAT, and then get points from that that will build you up into your VTOL or Low Star and just sit in the back of the map and camp and get a gameplay like that. Whereas personally, I do not find it entertaining. I prefer to be running around in the spawns. It's just more fun for me, too, you know. It's not fun to sit in the back of the map and wait and let your kill streaks do all the work. But um, anyways, you know, we are as a clan growing very rapidly and we cannot thank you guys enough. I know that I've not been that active recently because I have my little break and everything and taking a break is not a bad thing from Call of Duty. If you are a smaller YouTuber watching this or maybe even a bigger YouTuber, you know, if you're a YouTuber period watching this and you find yourself struggling with Call of Duty, not enjoying it at all, just not wanting to play, not lacking motivation, take a little break, you know, upload a video telling your subscribers what's up and then take a little break and then come back because when you come back you'll have like a totally refreshed mind you'll have a fresh look on things and a whole new surge of motivation that's what happened for me and it's happened for me in the past too just you know like say I went to camp or I've done mission trips in the summer and being away from Xbox for that long or not really that long just like a week you know just a small week or a couple of days even even one day you know it just it totally changes your outlook on things and it gives you a a new motivation to post and a new fresh outlook to be able to get the gameplays and because uh, you're not doing the same thing over and over again it's like with anything in life if you do it over and over again it's gonna get boring if you play Call of Duty every day the same maps they're all, all the maps are pretty similar the same guns and everything it's gonna get boring so why not take a break and come back with a fresh attitude and a fresh mind and make sure to check out the Doom Clan apparel website that was linked in the last video and you know our Doom clothes are gonna be actually pretty sick I'm actually gonna buy a couple myself and once the new designs come out, right now we only have that like red and black design, but uh, I'm hearing rumors of a blue and white design coming out. I know I'm going to have to cop that because that's just going to be too sick. And, um, you know, it's going to be a good quality shirt. And why not rock that? Show us your support. Uh, if you guys send us selfies with, with your shirt on, that'd be pretty epic. You know, seeing a bunch of selfies with our Doom Clan apparel on, that'd be raw. And uh, us as Doom Clan, we will be doing a 100k face reveal. I'm actually in charge of that, so I will be working with some of the guys, or actually all the guys, and working to get their clips from them and putting that together. And I'm actually excited for it because I think, I don't know, it was, it was kind of my idea. I kept, I kept pushing it with Cold and OBJ because I, I enjoy seeing the face behind the voice, you know, and I, I believe you guys will too. Uh, I actually have some ideas for my face reveal, what I'm going to do, and I'm sure that all the other guys will have something unique that they will toss into it, and it should be an awesome video, you know, I can't wait. All the other clans, or not all of them, but the ones that have done face reveals, I always enjoy them, and I feel like you guys will too. But anyways, the gameplay is rounding out to a close. I just wanted to thank all my support runners. They are, there were other Doom members, like I said earlier, so I'm sure that you guys have heard of them before. And I did pick up this MB7 with that nice camo, picking off the last couple of kills. My final scoreline is 210 to 2. There it is, my name is Phasm. Please give this video a thumbs up and check me out. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.